to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Today we're talking about the properties of light. Light is an important resource that we use on a daily basis. Our largest natural resource resource of light is the sun. The sun gives us vitamin D, it enables photosynthesis where plants can grow, and it also keeps our earth warm. Without the sunlight, our earth would be a frozen ball and we would not be able to live here. Light can be transmitted, it can be absorbed, and it can be reflected. And there are other properties that we can talk about in another video. When light is transmitted, that means light can go through the object. If light is being absorbed, that means that little light will go through very small amount. And when light is reflected, that means light is going to bounce back. And when it bounces back to our eyes, we're able to see the object. We're going to look at different materials to determine which property we are seeing. I've set up a display that we're going to use to determine if light is being transmitted, if light is being uh, absorbed, and if light is being reflected. I have on this end an index card that's just on a little stand. And I have an index card at the back. We're going to look at both cards to see what will happen. We have several different types of materials we're going to look at. First, we're going to observe tissue paper. Now, tissue paper would be considered translucent. Translucent materials allows some light to pass through. Not all of it, but some light. Let's see if this is going to be transmitted. And if you can see here, the light is shining on the card. So we see how much light, observe, how much light is on the card now. Okay, let's put our paper in front. Let's look at the card again. We have some light being transmitted through this paper. Some of the light is going through, but most of the light or a lot of the light is being absorbed, meaning that it's not getting through the material, but the material is absorbing the light itself. So let's remove this. Notice again, all the light now is going straight to the card. When we put this in front, some of the light is being absorbed and a little amount of the light is being transmitted. So this is the transmission of light. Let's look at this sheet. This sheet is clear. So we call this transparent. When we think of transparent material, we think things like windows that we can see straight through. Notice the amount of light on our card. Let's put our transparent. A little light is being absorbed into the plastic, but the majority of the light is being transmitted mean it's moving straight through and hitting the card and we can see it clearly. Remove it, then put it back in front and the majority of the light is going through. Now we have a black sheet of construction paper. When we have material like a black sheet of construction paper, we call this opaque. All right. Now, notice our light again. What do you think is going to happen when I place the black piece of construction in front of the card? Look at our card at the back. 
we barely see any light. The only light we do see is probably the light that's going above. But now the light is being absorbed. The black construction paper is absorbing the majority of the light. Or most of, most really all of the light. So now we have opaque and we have light being absorbed. When light is being absorbed and we have opaque, that's when we can create shadows. If you look at the card, you can see my shadow on the card because my fingers are blocking out part of the light. Let's look at this sheet of black construction paper. Observe that there are holes in this sheet. Let's see what will happen. Now we have part of the light being transmitted a little, not a lot, if we move this, and then part is being absorbed. So we've looked at our translucent material, some light is being transmitted, and some light is being absorbed. We've looked at our transparent material, most of the light is being transmitted. And we've looked at our opaque, where most of the light is being absorbed. With all the materials, some of the light is being absorbed. Now we're going to look at the mirror. And we're going to look at both cards. Now, nothing has occurred on this back card so far. Let's see what will happen now. The light is being, look at the back card, reflected. The light is being reflected. Now we can see if we move it, there's no light back here. But if we put it back, we can see the light being reflected from the mirror. Meaning that the light is bouncing back this way. What are some other things you can think of that will reflect light, absorb light, transmit light? And out of these things that you come up with, which of these are important in keeping us warm and which of these items are important in keeping us cool from the sunlight. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time on Michelle Gay Science Teacher.